Good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here for this morning's news conference as we update the homicide investigation into the murder of Caitlin Kaufman. Speaking with you this morning will be Chief John Drake, followed by Detective Chris Dickerson, our lead investigator in this case. Also with us this morning, Sergeant Byron DeWalt uh, of the homicide unit, who is the immediate supervisor of the squad uh, to which Detective Dickerson belongs. Chief Drake. Good morning. At 6.15 this morning, members of our MNPD SWAT team arrested Devontae Lewis Hill, age 21, for the murder of Nashville nurse Caitlin Kaufman. Hill was taken into custody without incident at his Berkshire Place apartment on Porter Road in East Nashville. Hill was brought to police headquarters where he was interviewed by Homicide Unit Detectives Chris Dickerson and Jefferson Hughes. And without going into detail, which I cannot do at this point, Hill gave a statement implicating himself in Caitlin's murder. This investigation is continuing and cannot rule out the possibility of additional arrests. A major break came in this case within an hour of the announcement of the announcement that an anonymous group of Nashville businessmen and entrepreneurs posted a $50,000 reward. I understand many of those uh, persons involved in the rewards are dads who have families in Nashville and love Nashville deeply, and I thank them for their contribution. A concerned citizen came forward Thursday afternoon and identified Hill as a suspect. The concerned citizen also provided information about the whereabouts of the 9mm used in the murder. Our detectives located the gun Thursday night. We called in our ballistic experts uh, overnight at the crime laboratory to do an immediate analysis. That gun was test fired and we have a 100% match of the three 9mm shell casings found on the corner of the road at I-440 uh, the night Caitlin was killed. In addition, our electronic experts were able to identify Devontae's Hill's cell number and provider. We have determined that Hill's cell phone was in the vicinity the night Caitlin was killed. As you know from day one, our team of detectives from a homicide unit has worked around the clock on this case. They have been joined by scientists from our crime laboratory, MNPD electronics experts, and partners of the FBI, ATF, and TBI. I cannot thank these men and women enough who are here today and have been working tirelessly. I thank you all for your hard work. I would like to ask our lead detective, Chris Dixon, to say a few words. Thank you, Chief. <clears throat> Good morning. At 3.37 this morning, I swore out a criminal homicide warrant against Devontae L. Hill. It was a culmination of hundreds of hours of relentless work by the homicide unit, my team here, SID, and many others, many others in the police department and law enforcement partners. While it was a relief to be able to sign the arrest warrant, it was an exceptional relief to be able to call Diane Kaufman, who is back in Pennsylvania right now. She's back in Pennsylvania. She returned to Pennsylvania yesterday to prepare for Caitlin's funeral, which is on Saturday. Devontae Hill was brought to police headquarters this morning. He did consent to an interview. He did implicate himself in Caitlin's murder. At this time, I cannot elaborate beyond that for now. This investigation is continuing. We cannot rule out additional arrests. Throughout this investigation, I have felt the support of all of Nashville and the strong support of the Kaufman family as we have worked to advance this case. Again, we are not finished, but I'm glad to be in the position we are this morning. Thank you very much. We can take a limited number of questions. Can you clarify again who uh, brought up uh, Hall Hill's name and, and how exactly it was? It was simply a concerned citizen. I can't elaborate on that. And so when you say he implicated himself, um, can you talk a little bit about more that, like, did he admit to um, shooting to kill her, or are you just saying, like, he said something that may, just clarify that for me. Uh, I can't elaborate exactly what he said, but he said enough to swear out an arrest warrant and implicate himself in the homicide. And at this time, do we know if they knew each other? Was this random? Uh, I can confirm that they did not know each other, but beyond that, you know, I won't add to anything, but I can confirm that they did not know each other. He did not know Caitlin. Can you say anything to him, where he lives, possibly how old, what he does, anything? 
I, I believe in the initial statement. Uh, I'd say where, where he lived. He's 21. He lived in the uh, Berkshire Place Apartments in East Nashville, and um, that's all we know right now. So. What's the next step for you guys? Because I, I know you said, um, are you how, I guess, how certain are you that there's maybe possibly more than one person involved in this? Right now, we're just not going to rule anything out. We're going to continue with the investigation. Do you know what his mother, what was his mother's response when you told her that, that you had gotten someone? Ms. Kaufman's response? Um, it obviously, it was a lot of tears, um, just just joy. You know, she said that she was able to get some closure before the funeral, and she expressed her, her gratitude to everybody that helped out the entire department. Um, just because I'm lead, you know, she wanted to express everyone, SID, homicide, uh, Detective Chad Gish, and everyone just say how thankful she was and how her family was and the Pennsylvania family was. Do you believe the size? I'm sorry, I missed that. Had you been in communication with her before this? I mean, every, every day since since the homicide occurred. A lot of Nashville right now is kind of scared about it being a road rage, possible road rage incident. Can you speak to that and can you put Nashville at ease? Uh, I, I can't speak to if it was road rage or not. Like I said, that's it's all part of the investigation that we're looking into. Um, if it'll put it at ease, you know, we, we were out there every day working hard uh, uh, to solve it and we're going to continue to work hard. Do you believe the size of the reward played a role in someone finally coming forward? Um, I, I certainly think that was motivation um, um, for someone to come forward and talk. Yeah, and Caitlin's mom was was comfortable with that, and and she supported that as well. Can you confirm that they're going to get that reward? Uh, I I can't confirm that right now or not. I don't know. Um, I believe through prosecution, it's something that has to happen. But they definitely would be in play to receive that reward. Chief Drake had it. already said. Um, Chief Drake described this case as. So are you, are you guys at all shocked that all this came to fruition in just over a week? No, not, not shocked. Some of these cases evolve rapidly. Some take uh, a longer length of time. It's, uh, it's shocked Nashville tremendously. There was a lot of concern pointing into the police department. Over 50 tips were continuing to come in. And when we uh, posted about the reward of 50000 plus, uh, it just you know materialized more. And someone, and sometimes these things happen. We've had cases that within 24 hours, someone has given a tip that leads to an arrest, and some take years. So. Uh, is this case uh, gang-related or um, anything like that? Uh, like I said, that would be something that part of the investigation. I don't want to elaborate, say yes or no. It's just all part of the investigation. Did Hill have a record prior to this? Uh, he did. I can't elaborate exactly what it was or how specific, but he, he did. Tell me a little more about the casings, like when you found them, where they were. Uh, we found them at the scene. It was obviously something we didn't disclose at that time. And we found three spent 9mm cartridge casings at the scene that matched the gun 100%. On the road or in the car? Or? On the road. Okay. Yep, on the interstate. Okay, one more question. Can you indicate why he did it? Uh, I, I can't go into exactly what he said, but we did confirm that he did not know her beforehand. I have one more question. Okay. There's a lot of families in Nashville don't get this quick response um, one week and to have an arrest there's a lot of people that have lost loved ones that are still waiting for an arrest do you have anything to say to them uh, I, I personally do not just that any case that's open we're all working hard and diligently every case is, is different and it's something that we work hard on regardless of the case we put every foot forward and do our best was the suspect on your radar um, before the citizens tip at all sorry I can't speak to that at all uh, that'd Thank be part of the investigation